everyone a very logical afternoon to all of you i would like to welcome you with a very bright smile on my face because i have a very bright student sitting next to me that is anvesh sharma hello anvesh how do you feel to be uh, sitting here and about you are about to discuss your success story with the world here how do you feel it's a wonderful feeling ma'am like one wouldn't when they are in the preparation stage they wouldn't expect to end up here but always dream of it so honestly a dream come to see life is all about dreaming if you wouldn't dream yeah. achieve kaise karoge so khush ho jao because you have achieved your dream of nlu ye tum khud hi batao main chahti hu tum khud hi batao ki tumne kya socha tha aur abhi tum kahan ho honestly while i was preparing for the exam all i had in my mind was to give my best and whatever god feels like is deserving of me i would accept it but i feel like whatever was given to me right now is i mean what more could i ask of it's honestly pretty good okay so um uh, anvesh i would uh, want to know ki um uh, life mein kab socha ki law as a career choose karte what motivated you and is pure journey mein how did you land here at vidyakya uh it all started after my board results uh earlier this year around may while uh when i got my board results i was a bit lost in a way because i wasn't very sure about what i wanted what i wanted to pursue in my life and uh my father he was uh in since i actually wanted to go in a stem science uh, stem uh field but my father was adamant that i could try so law what changed your mind i'm curious Now I did a, a fair bit of research on my own and what could interest me and what all is like what all could I expect in this field and it intrigued me at first but then uh, my father told me that you could like try it and I got to know of Vidigya but after I came here it's like it felt like I'm at the right place and it's like a missing piece that was like fitted in a puzzle that's wonderful uh, like you know see when you are about to begin a journey and you just find right people around you so yeah. i think this becomes a bit easier yeah. so do you think the resources are uh, provided to you here at vidigya uh, how did they help you with uh, your syllabus and how do you think it is relatable with the clat exam it's like if if i had to say something it was the most prominent part of my journey the modules and the class worksheets and all the facilities that the faculty provided to us was really enriching and it helped us develop a like a idea of what we could expect in the paper the mocks were very well written and honestly they were very challenging at first so like it made you want to strive harder to do better in the mocks so yeah i think uh, when you are being pushed until you reach and cross your limits hmm. so that is where i think wonderful things happen so uh, i would want to uh, ask you anvesh tell us uh, what was time uh, about your time here at vidigya and please uh, tell us like about your uh, like did you take a drop or were you preparing while you were uh, with your classroom extensive study so what was it tell me uh, i took a drop actually okay from post 12th i started preparing for clat mm -hmm. Uh, my classroom experience was very good like it is honestly the do you exp uh, like uh, do you think taking a drop was like a waste of time or a waste of year here in my opinion it was completely worth it i think if you believe in yourself that you have the potential or you have the will to do something better with your life i think it's very worth it to take a drop so but you have to push yourself you can't just lay back and think that everything would happen on its own yeah when the you goal to, is clear you need yeah. to keep working and you have to have a have a goal have a mindset of your own that whatever come may be i'll do my best in exactly. any situation yes kya socha tha ki ha nl nl bhopal mein hi ja ke land hone wala hu main ki kuch aur tha ya ummeed se zyada mila tell me about it Uh, as Bah also told us that instead of waiting for results or keeping expectations, I believed in doing what I could at the moment and just live in the present. And whatever I could get in the future, it would honestly be what I worked for in the end. So the fact that I got NLU Bhopal is pretty astonishing to me because I, at the moment I was preparing, I always felt like something was lacking or I wasn't doing good mm -hmm. enough, which is 
I felt like it was natural because I was in there's a feeling that you could always do a bit better in life. What was that one exciting thing though? Ki yaar ye to maine socha hi nahi tha uh, like while preparing what was that one exciting thing one uh, thing that was uh, like मतलब ये तुमने इमेजिन ही नहीं किया था कि ये पार्ट ऑफ माय करिकुलम ये पार्ट ऑफ माय सिलेबस ये पार्ट ऑफ माय प्रिपरेशन वुड बी द की थिंग दैट हैज पुश्ड मी टू एन एल आई फील वाइल आई वेन आई वाइल आई फर्स्ट केम इन विद आई आई थॉट लाइक द प्रोसेस इज गोइंग टू बी वेरी टी डी एस एंड इट्स गोइंग टू बी वेरी लेबर सम इन अ वे बट द होल इट वॉज लाइक द होल बैकग्राउंड एंड द होल स्टडीज वो वेरी very intriguing and very you know you could like explore a bit you could you always had new material to read it was like not very exhaustive the material so you could yeah, all, like the content if yeah. you were to say and you okay. could and you were always gaining knowledge some way or the other plus i found that legal reasoning at first if i wanted to be honest i didn't think i'd find it very interesting but as soon as i studied more in it and delved more into it it became pretty interesting how the legal system works so that's amazing like the way you uh, um like the way you are talking about things now so i think i am like speaking to a, a someone who is very knowledgeable in a particular field now let us say clat so i think uh, anyone who is watching this video especially any clat aspirant could be like hugely motivated about the way you are presenting yourself right now and i am equally proud to present uh, with again with me who is uh, speaking as if he has gained so much of knowledge so how do you feel uh, anvesh how are you going to utilize this knowledge at nlu i feel like uh, you always could learn learn more and while i'm at nlu doing my course I feel like you'll always learn more and with the help of faculty there i thanks to the faculty here i was able to learn a lot of things that could potentially help me in the future and the thing is it gave me a will to learn a motivation to seek more knowledge which which if which i find is uh, it gives you a motivation that's not very exhaustive because uh, from the motivation from other things like success it it can be a bit draining at times but when you have a will to learn and excel in your life you have this constant motivation without needing external influence what about resources here how uh, useful did you find the resources provided here at vidigya ma it was honestly more than i could ask for like i wasn't expecting this much material to be given to me like i was i was having daily worksheets and daily modules to practice and i was i never had the feeling that i would never be like unoccupied or wouldn't have anything to do there was always something you could do which would engage you and which would actually challenge you and make you work so i think uh, preparation wise if uh, any clad aspirant right now is watching you i think kitni cheeze kitne tips tumne hamare sath share ki anvesh and that's completely amazing because uh, jab hum clad ke bare mein sochte hain preparation comes first thing in mind how am i going to prepare kahan se shuru karna hai aur kahan tak pahunchna hai so i think you made this very clear with your points and uh, i truly believe that wherever you go as of now nlu bhopal how do you think the competitive spirit you are going to face there how do you feel kaise kaise settle karoge khud ko wahan pe how will you fit in there i feel like it's going to be a new chapter in its own like it's going to be a very new environment with people of similar mm-hmm. and bright minds yes. and it's always the company you have makes you want to strive harder and makes you want to do better but i feel like the, if there is a competition that i have to face it would make me keep going in a way that i could also you know like want to like i want to be at the top of yeah. the ladder any piece of advice that you would carry i feel like from my personal experience and the thing i like to work the most on is that not to crumble under pressure easily like in a situation where you can't find a way out you have to be calm and think it through because there's always a way out but you you're not thinking clearly enough so like I tend to panic a lot and I lack a lot of confidence if I had to say to ye kaise fight kiya tumne anvesh i think this would be one of your low points 
इस पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम पे आके जब हमें इतना कम्पेटिटिव एग्जाम देना है बींग लो इन कॉन्फिडेंस या पैनिकिंग कुड यू नो रू इन द इंटायर गेम दैट यू हैव बीन प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर थ्रू आउट वन ईयर इसे कैसे कॉम्बैट किया आई थिंक ये बहुत लोगों का इशू होगा मैम आई इफ आई हैड टू बी कम्प्लीटली ऑनेस्ट विथ यू आई थॉट टू फाइंड अ वाइस दैट आई कुड स्टिक टू दैट दैट कुड मेक मी यू नो अदर देन माई स्टडीज आई कुड लाइक अ हॉबी इन अ वे दैट आई कुड डिस्ट्रैक्ट माई सेल्फ विद सो दैट इन टाइम्स वेर आई वॉज नॉट वेरी काम और कुड एंड फोकस ऑन थिंग्स आई कुड गो देर एंड रिलैक्स एंड थिंक इट थ्रू विच आई फाउंड इट टू बी म्यूजिक एंड लाइक लिटल लिटल बिल ऑफ म्यूजिक हेयर एंड देर इट मेड यू become a bit calm a bit more energized and a bit more willful to yeah, do things yeah and then you can resume again with your yeah. preps with full energy hmm. okay so uh one more thing that i'd like to ask you anvesh is how are the like sessions how did they impact you here the variety of sessions that were portrayed here at vedigya how did they impact you at each and every step of preparation just elaborate so uh, towards the end there were a lot of sessions that honestly impacted my preparation when i was feeling like there is no way through ahead uh, namely run bhumi sessions and marathon sessions they churned you in a way but they made you like you could say that tarasha hai kind of so they made you work harder and there were long sessions and more detailed than one could expect so they helped you a lot in learning things which you were firstly unfamiliar with secondly made you confident in ways that like if you were more prepared than the preparation needed you of you were but you had you more like a bang on completely yeah. revising each and every thing. yeah so it made you uh again it gave you a confidence that yeah your preparation is at a good position and you could do well if you continue forward with this and the motivation and the will to go forward that the teachers provided us with because uh, i felt like the the sessions were not only about the study aspect of things but also to not let your morale go further than it should so it made you have a self of con- sense of confidence that yes you are worthy of it and you can do good if you work hard towards it see at the end of the day this is what works well mm-hmm. to be in like good full confidence and being highly motivated right before you are attempting the exam hmm. so okay i think the bunch of advice i would not say piece of advice and wish so the bunch of advice that we got from you uh, today here in this session i think it could be valuable for anyone who is watching this video so i would like to congratulate you once again Thank on you, uh, this journey that you have covered throughout here at vidigya and uh, we couldn't be more proud of you and uh, i am sure once a vidigya always, always a vidigya and you are going to shine going to achieve great heights at nlu i wish you all the very best thank you very much ma'am so that was anvesh with me the bright mind here at vidigya who uh, was sharing his success story with us for more stay tuned and stay logical mm.